What's going on you guys? Zaid here on ZSPN and I'm here to talk to you guys about uh, the 2017 NBA draft and the Lakers selection and I want to give you all my thoughts and my opinions about that uh, the Lakers uh, draft selection. Um, as it concerns uh, the second overall pick guys, uh, the Lakers did select uh, Lonzo Ball out of UCLA and personally for me guys I think the Los Angeles Lakers hit the jackpot by drafting Lonzo Ball. Guys, they're going to be getting a player who has great passing ability, uh, great basketball IQ, uh, defensive ability, shooting ability. The, guys, the player has it all, okay? He, um, he's like the better version of a Russell, uh, D'Angelo Russell. So, um, and plus they needed a point guard. And what better way to get a better version of a D'Angelo Russell than um Lonzo Ball. So and guys, they also be they're also gonna be getting a leader in Lonzo Ball. So uh with the selection guys I would have to give the Lakers an A plus for this selection. So now as it concerns the twenty seventeenth pick twenty seventh pick uh the Los Angeles Lakers did go with uh Kyle Kuzma out of uh, uh, Utah uh, guys personally for me guys if I had to grade this draft pick I would have to give it a B guys personally for me I really thought that the Los Angeles Lakers would select uh, Jordan uh, Bell out of Oregon because I sort of saw the roster needed a an elite defender a a great rebounding uh, player and sure, uh, Kyle Kuzma has uh, has that as well, and also great offensive ability. But at the same time, I saw Jordan Jordan Bell has that sort of defensive ability that the Lakers needed. But I'm not hating it. I know you guys probably all of you out there, Laker fans out there, who love this pick. But at the same time. Uh, I don't know. I just assumed that the Los Angeles Lakers would draft Jordan Bell. But at the same time, they did got a better, uh, a good player. But if I had to, you know, reverse the <laughs> the draft selection, I would draft uh, Jordan Bell. But unfortunately, we got uh, Kyle Kuzma. And I'm not hating on the guy. But at the same time, you know, we could have gotten better. So I'll probably give it uh, the twenty seventh pick uh, a a B or like a B plus something like that. So um, as it concerns, as we continue on the draft, guys, uh, the Lakers did trade the twenty eighth pick in the two thousand seventeen NBA draft for the thirtieth pick, and some of you all might be questioning that move, but. Uh, the Lakers did land a, a great shooting guard. Okay, personally for me, guys, uh, he will be sort of like a great rotation for possibly a Jordan Clarkson who is still on this roster who could probably be a shooting guard, starting uh, shooting guard. So, um, and guys, with the 30th pick, the Lakers did select uh, Josh Hart. Um, guys, this guy, personally for me, guys, I was really surprised that the rest of the teams in the first round let this player go this low in the draft. I mean, guys, the Lakers are be, are going to be getting a high energy, high elite uh, basketball IQ player, guys. Uh, he's he's a 2016 NCAA uh, champion and. Guys, they're just, they're just going to be getting a great shooting uh, player. So a great basketball IQ, high basketball IQ. And he will be sort of like a great rotation at this shooting guard position. So um, if I had to grade that draft uh, selection, guys, I would have to give it um, an A or, or an A minus. So... Um, Great selection uh, from the Los Angeles Lakers at the 30th pick. 
And now, as it concerns the second round, guys, I, I personally, guys, don't really follow the second round selections, personally, for me, guys, because, you know, sometimes the second round picks don't really show up uh, as it concerns uh, being, like, being, like, the next, next um, Draymond Green or something like that, guys. Now, guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to derail or say that the second round selections are sucky players. No, guys, we have we had some great players that became out of the of the second round that became all stars and superstars and also starters in this league, like an Isaiah Thomas, uh, a Monte Ellis, and also a Lance Stevenson at one point, guys. I mean, there has been players that came out of the second round that became respectable players that developed and became uh became a name for themselves so with the lakers selection guys uh i sort of see him maybe develop as a player and possibly be, become a starter at one point but um as you all know guys the lakers did trade uh did trade a deandre russell and uh timothy moscow for a uh, Brook Lopez so and I think he's going to start next season and uh, for a second option guys we do have Zubat so for Thomas Bryant he is going to be a third option for uh, for the Lakers and he has he has a great upside as it concerns uh, a rebounding ability defensive ability and some upside of of offensive ability as well but at the same time, guys, if he wants to start in this league, he needs to develop as a player. That's why he, that's why he was he was drafted in the second round, because possibly they saw him as a, not a first round material player. But if he proves everyone wrong, wrong and becomes one of those certain players like a like an Isaiah Thomas or a Draymond Green, uh, you know, he can probably start in this league and possibly become an All Star. So. Guys, with the Lakers selection of, of all the players, I would rank all of them as a as A minus, uh, a grading of A minus. So, um, like I said, uh, for individual players, I said Lonzo Ball is a A plus for the Lakers. Uh, for the twenty seventh pick, I will give him a B minus, and. For the 30th pick, for Josh Hart, I will grade him uh, a A minus as it concerns uh, a shooting guard for a certain rotation for a Jordan Clarkson if he's still around with the Lakers. And uh, for Thomas Bryant, uh, I'll probably give him a C plus. But as a as a total grade, guys, I will give the Lakers. An A minus. So, I want to know your thoughts and your opinions, guys. Did the Lakers make the right moves at draft night, selecting uh, players that were logical, or do you guys disagree with uh, the the Lakers selection? Please let me know in the comment section below of what your thoughts and your opinions about the draft. And um, I really appreciate the love and support you guys been giving me on this channel. Uh, like, subscribe to the channel, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.